you're constantly working on social media, you're, you're keeping up with trends, TikTok, like pivoting to everything being online with, with the pandemic. You just have to stay very focused and don't get discouraged. You have to keep your eye on the prize. Hi, I'm Maud Leger, and this is the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we crack the code to real estate success. Learn from top realtors, entrepreneurs, and innovators about how to grow your business as we discuss real estate success stories, mindset, processes, motivations, and the key to their success. Check out our podcast episodes every Monday to crack the code to success for your real estate business. This week, I'm speaking with Ruby Gill from the agency. Ruby's approach to real estate is simple and so genuine. She focuses on her clients, builds relationships, truly bases her selling process on integrity. She has a huge work ethic, drive to succeed, and adds a touch of humor and personality to it all. Let's get to my chat with Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Thanks for joining us on the episode today. Tell us what is the key to your success. First of all, Maud, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, the key to my success is really, truly a relentless desire to succeed. It is uh, basically what pushes me, what drives me, a strong work ethic uh, that my parents instilled in me. Thank you, parents. Um, and, you know, just, just basically I push myself every day to be better and to basically continue to be better on a regular basis. I love it. These are all amazing qualities, like work ethic. <laughs> Tell us what is yeah. your day to day then? How do you push yourself every day? Okay, so every day starts ideally with a walk with my dog. Yes. Uh, I take him for a walk and usually, I don't know if you follow me, but I do stories as I walk along. I talk about real life. I talk about real estate. I talk just talk about things just to build relationships with clients or friends or whoever is watching me on Instagram. Uh, that's the first part of my day. I have to have my tea. That is very important. Nice. Uh, and then uh, right away, go into the various boards that I'm a part of, RAB, TREB, just to see, you know, where the properties are, what's happening in the areas that my clients are interested in. If they're looking to sell what has sold, if they're looking to buy what's happening, it's just a constant need to be up to date on what's happening in, in the environment. Yeah, I love it. How do you keep yourself accountable? Like you seem like driven. How do you keep yourself there? You know what it is? It's personal goals. Like it's just personal goals and the desire to make sure my clients are happy always. So whether if, if, if I sold something a year ago, I follow up with them. Hey guys, just want to let you know, how are you doing? You know, celebrating anniversaries, birthdays, just constantly keeping in touch with them. Um, you know, just, just making sure it's still a strong relationship. Uh, and I hold myself accountable by making sure I have a schedule <laughs> because if there's no calendar and I'm still old school, I still have a written calendar because I need to be able to see it. I mean, the phone is great. It, it is lovely, but I like having a big calendar where I can see everything kind of like visualization, like they like to say, so it's all there. So I keep track of what I'm doing every single day. Nice. That's amazing. Do you have any processes that you follow or are you just winging it? What's your... How do you treat it? You know, Maud, it's, it's real estate. It's so uh, fluid, right? So I could have the best schedule and then something will happen. All of a sudden, my buyers that were going to wait for a week decide, no, this is the one we love. This is the one we want to go. So everything else goes to the side because that then becomes a priority. So I do have a loose schedule, but generally it is the demands of my clients that, that take precedence over everything else. Yeah. How do you win listings? How do you make yourself get new listings, nurture your listings, all of that? A lot of my uh, listings are referral based. And that's where I feel like the relationship building is so important. Like there's a, a hundred and thousands of realtors out there, but what sets Ruby apart? Whoever wants to work with Ruby may not want to work with say Susie, right? Like it's just, it's that relationship. It's so important. So I am as genuine as they come. Um, I pride myself, again, strong work ethic. I have a sense of humor. I will make sure uh, that if anybody's losing sleep between me and the client, it's me. So I will make sure everything is as seamless, as stress-free as possible. And really, I want them to know that when they call me, they're going to get me, not somebody else. It's, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship, always for the entire process. And mod for me, it's not like, oh, once the papers are signed, it's done. It's post-transaction. 
there, there's still a lot to maintain after that. Just because the keys are exchanged, it's not over. The relationship continues. And that's really important to me to maintaining those relationships. So that's that's generally how I win listings. It's it's basically my personality um, and my my strategy of driven sales record. And I just basically push that and show them this is what I can offer you. Plus at the back of the agency behind me. So it, it's a win-win. Nice. I love it. <laughs> How do you, like you talk about being genuine, having integrity, how do you show that to your clients? How do they get to experience that? I think because I'm very active on social, they, they see, they see what I'm doing. I, I walk the dog. I, I, you know, it's not always glamorous. There's sides to walking a dog that we all have to do. You know, it's not, it's not always like uh, selling sunset. We're not running around in heels all day. So I'm With the perfect really relatable. Yes, yes, you know, uh, it, I'm extremely relatable. I have three daughters that I've raised with my husband. We live in Millcroft in Burlington. So we know what it's like, the trials and tribulations of raising a family, moving, buying. And, you know, and, and I'm very, very also at the end of the day, it's, it's also a numbers game. So I can talk a good game, but if I can't back up my knowledge, then I've lost that, you know, uh, honesty and trust there with, with the client. So it's it's a fine balance that, you know, you, you have to have a little bit of the human and the business. So it has to be a human business model. It can't just be like, where's the relationship, right? You have to build on something. So I, I love sports. So oftentimes if I go to a, a prospective client's house, if I see some trophies, oh, you know, it is a soccer or football. So there's always a way to connect. And once you've built that connection, I feel like there's no turning back, you know, and I always feel if I can make someone laugh, I've already won. Nice. You know, if I can make that that very serious person sitting across from me make, smile or laugh, then then I feel like, yeah, I've, I've got this. So that's how I make myself relatable. I'm very honest. Um, if a seller comes to me and says they want two point five million for their home and I know <laughs> they can only get two. It's time to have a serious conversation. And, and those are the tough conversations to have, but it's really, really important to have those conversations while being respectful, mm -hmm. right? It's, 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 it's a very fine line we walk, it's a balance. And yeah. you know, it is like, you know, you have to be very careful in how you present that argument that, you know, we, we can strive for a certain amount, but 2.5, because if you don't set those expectations right off the bat, it, things can go sideways very quickly clear clearly too like yes. to respect yourself by not trying to say yes 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 i'll get 2.5 and then disappoint everybody and yourself and then respecting them into what they can actually get for their house so and you know because you know there's someone that's going to come along and say oh yeah yeah you'll get 2.5 until then, they do a price reduction you know, <laughs> exactly and then it's just like you know i i, I have i work that's how i work i'm never going to over promise like it's just it's really important to me to set expectations i also let them know what they can expect of me like yeah. i'm available phone text dm email you name it right like just reach out any questions there's no big or small questions because it's your home it's your biggest investment mm -hmm. and whether it's a condo or a detached home four or five it, they're all treated with the same respect as far as i'm concerned because it's your it's your investment yeah, totally. It makes sense. And it seems to me like you're very well rounded from the relatable, personable, knowledgeable and having those tough conversations. That's really cool. It, it all comes with time and practice. Having the difficult conversations makes it easier to have them on a regular basis. And honestly, if you have the experience and the knowledge to back it up, most most sellers totally understand. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Tell us what's the best advice you've ever received? It's a marathon, not a sprint. Ooh, very cool. I I love that. Uh, I honestly can't even remember where I heard it, but I heard it, and it's basically something I hang on to because in this January, just kind of society we in, and you're you're in this as well as part of your business. Everything wants everything right away, right away, right away. It can't always be like that, right? You want to be successful. You're not going to be an overnight success. I mean. Uh, unless I don't, I don't know, unless you have some crazy mad Beyonce skills that you can sing while you're listing your home. Like, I mean, you, everything takes time. So it's a marathon. Keep doing the work, put in the work. 
I'd say 90% of what we do is not glamorous. It is a lot of work. You're calling, you're, you know, you're reaching out to clients. There is a lot of rejection. You're constantly working on social media. You're, you're keeping up with trends, TikTok, like pivoting to everything being online with, with the pandemic. You just have to stay very focused and don't get discouraged. You have to keep your eye on the price. I love that. That's so true. Yeah. Not an overnight it's success. True. Like it's rare. No. So. <laughs> don't bank it is on rare. that. <laughs> no, no, never bank on it. So when it's, almost, it's a marathon. So every day do something to better yourself. Every day work towards that goal. Whether it's putting out a reel on Instagram every day, whether it's putting out a TikTok video, whether it's just showing your face on stories, making posts that are relatable to your niche, to your clientele. Like it's just find out who is your clientele, who's watching you, who, who likes you, who, you know, it's just, it's, it's always a little bit, this all these algorithms. I, I thought I'd never hear the word algorithm again after I graduated university, but no. nowadays there's a lot of algorithm stuff on every what's going on, hashtags, this, that. So there's a lot to learn and you can spend every day getting better at all of these things. Yeah, that's amazing. What does the agency uh, brings to your business? How does how do they help you uh, in growing your own business? Okay, they I I've been with uh, two other brokers just before, and when I got to the agency, I felt like I'd come home because it's such a wonderful group of like-minded individuals. Everybody wants to see everybody else succeed. So if a colleague of mine does well, we're we're, we're genuinely truly happy for them, and we believe the sum of all of us is greater than just one person. So we're always working together. We share each other's listings on social media. We have great marketing behind us. I mean, we're based in LA. I mean, we've got some of the most beautiful homes like, uh, you know, uh, Maurizio sold the Playboy Mansion. It's, we have so much cool and it's different. And one of our logos is we're not your parents agency. So <laughs> and we, we, we're different and we bring a certain marketing, a certain, um, it's a boutique like feel, but it's a full service brokerage. So we we're basically bringing everything and I have the support of wonderful people. If I need help, they're all there. Our marketing team, Rachel and our marketing, she's phenomenal. Some of the best images I've seen come up for real estate. So it's just, it's a very a cool young vibe. Um, and it just, it's very supportive. And you know what, when everybody grows together, you only get better. You only want to do better. So it's just, it's, it's just the best vibe I've ever had it in a real estate office. It's just so fun. Wow. So inspiring. <laughs> it, it really is like, and, you know, our, our managing brokers, Katya and Steve, they're so down to earth. They're, they're there for you. You can call them message. And there's, there's never like, we were just at forum, uh, which is our yearly uh, in October for the agency. Yeah. We celebrated 10 years. Wow. Um, and there were agents there who are on million dollar listing, David and James, Maurizio, Santiago, all these, John, all these big time agents. But there was no attitude. There was no, oh, I can't talk to you. You know, everybody was sharing and everybody was partaking in the celebration and sharing in the success of everyone. So it, it's just a very, very nice feeling to be a part of something that big. Super collaborative too. I like that. I like that feel. At 100%. 100. Like we have agents in Turks and Caicos, Sean and Ian. They we will collaborate. Like we basically, they make fun of us because our weather isn't great, but whatever. Uh, one day, one day we'll have nice warm weather, but yeah. we collaborate. Like we show homes around, around the world. Like we have, you know, it's just, it's just a fun vibe and no one's really, everybody's there to raise you up, which is, which is wonderful because when that foundation exists, you only want to do better. Yeah. Yeah. It motivates you to grow. As yes. Well. Yeah. Yes. 100 percent. Very cool. And what's exciting for you coming up in the industry or in this year? What's happening? Well, uh, I I was given my uh, an award for exemplary agent, which was very, very exciting less than uh, a month ago, which really like I was, you know, when you're not expecting anything and I received it, I was just, you know, just basically thrown uh, so excited. I was walking on a cloud forever, yeah. um, but that just propels me. I really want to continue to grow my social media. I really want to make that a, a larger presence. Uh, my goal was to hit a thousand. I think I'm close with followers, but then the next goal will be 5,000. Right, right. so that's next. Uh, really, really carve a niche out in my particular uh market here in Millcroft in Burlington. Really, really push that. Just sold a listing on Bonavista, we sold it in four days. It was, it was, it was just it was a beautiful home. Um, and that's it, just keep striving and keep 
my clients happy. You know, at the end of the day, that's what I want to keep doing. So those are the things I want to do. I want to have a lot more exposure, be more out there, help my fellow uh, realtors, the ones that are starting out uh, with us at the agency, just help them, give them some tips because it's hard. It's hard when you start out. It There's is. so much you don't know, you know, it's, it's like you do the classes, it's great. And then you're out there like, um, right. So help <laughs> out. yeah, you're living it. So you, you try to help out as much as I can. Um, I'm going to continue to support my community. I do a lot of giveaways. I did them all of COVID. Right. It was, it's tough for a lot of our restaurants, communities, and for so many people, but they were hit pretty badly. So I did a lot of giveaways with uh, local community restaurants. Cause I love, I love my city. Um, you know, I love Burlington. I love Oakville. Who doesn't love Toronto? So it's just, I want to support my community as much as possible. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love it. Tell us, so you want to grow your audience. Tell us where can we find you? What's your uh, at? And at Ruby Gill Realtor. You can find me very easily. Uh, I I do quite a lot of reels. It's been busy lately. So that, that's one thing that I, I, I wanted to do a reel every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing really, really well. So all of a sudden, things got really, really busy. So it's now making sure I get back to doing that every day. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very heavy on Instagram, Facebook. I'm getting there, but I just find Instagram a, a bigger medium, uh, a easier medium to to manage. And TikTok, I find TikTok fun and easy. It, it's it's light. Yeah, uh, it's it's so like boom, boom, you're done, right? So and the, those two realtor TikTok yeah. as well. Yeah, really? yeah, that's it. Keep it simple, right? <laughs> yes, very cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all of this. That's really inspiring, really motivating. I find other realtors will definitely get benefit out of it. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Mark. Thanks for joining. Subscribe to our podcast, Realtors Conspiracy, today.